And we all want answers. We all want to see justice done. And to that end, I asked the BCA to share as much information as they could as soon as they could, and I appreciate that the BCA has done that. And we don't yet have all the answers. So for me to characterize it as needless is actually inaccurate because we don't have all the answers. But the tragic death of Justine Damon today. But the information the BCA has shared this evening gets us closer to having answers, closer to seeing justice done. And we do have more information now, though it's frustrating to have some of the picture, but not all of it. We cannot compel Officer Noor to make a statement. I wish we could. I wish that he, I, I, I wish that he would make a statement, is what I want to say. We can't compel him by law, but I wish that he would make that statement. There are big questions left that we still have and that we hope to have answered soon. Why did Officer Noor draw and fire his gun? What happened from the time the officers arrived on the scene to when she was pronounced dead? Why don't we have footage from body cameras? Why were they not activated? We all want answers to those questions. I realize there has been a lot of discussion about our body camera program in general, not related to the officer involved shooting. The Minneapolis Police Department is eight months out from our full department wide rollout of body cameras. The chief recently created a position and appointed a quality assurance commander who will be completing a full review of our program soon, focused on how often our officers activate their body-worn cameras.